am thrilled to introduce the recipient of this year's Tribute of Inspiration Award, Joel Shufro. Joel, um, this is a very special honor for me because you are actually the person who introduced me to Linda. You guys might not remember, but it was the summer of 2008 and our country was in the midst of the presidential campaign between John McCain and Barack Obama and the American Public Health Association, of which I'm a member, and the uh, coalitions on occupational health and safety were putting together an action agenda for whomever the new president was going to be. And we wanted a very broad coalition of organizations to sign on to this action agenda. And I was one of the people that was trying to recruit signatories. And Joel Shufro sent me an email and he said, have you contacted Linda Reinstein at ADAO? I hadn't. I had never heard of ADAO, but I did. And Joel, I can't thank you enough for introducing me to Linda and ADAO. And because of it, ADAO has fostered a terrific relationship with the American Public Health Association and other worker health and safety organizations. And because of ADAO and the American Public Health Association's partnership, we have a resolution um, calling for a ban on asbestos, a global ban on asbestos. So thank you so much for that. Um, you are an inspiration for so many reasons. Thank you for inspiring us to work together to make this world a better place for all. Here you go. Thank you. I am flattered and honored to be here today and to be honored. The honor, however, really belongs to the staff of and the board of the New York Committee for Occupational Safety and Health, the organization for which I've worked for the last 33 years. Um, that organization, in case, I, I, there are a lot of new faces in the room who I do not recognize, but the Kosh groups, we're a Kosh group, a, a committee for occupational safety and health, uh, which is a coalition of unions, concerned individuals, uh, professionals, all dedicated to fighting for every worker's right to a safe and healthful workplace. Uh, there are about 25 of them around the country. Uh, and if you're not a member of your local Kosh group, you ought to become one uh, because we work on asbestos-related issues and other issues dealing with toxic uh, substances in the workplace. Uh, and we need your support building a broad-based coalition. Our organization, if just take a minute, uh, has had a long history of working with asbestos-related issues. We were educated really by Dr. Selikoff in New York, who spoke at our conferences starting in the early 1980s uh, about asbestos disease. He would come and show pictures of the building of the World Trade Center, where asbestos was sprayed onto the pipes, and as he said, some of it actually s s got stuck on the pipes, but most of it f fell to the ground. And he had pictures of workers walking ankle deep in asbestos uh, dust that did not make it onto the pipe. Uh, Dr. Selikoff also spoke just shortly before he died at a NICOSH event where we honored him and it was the day that the EPA decision to ban asbestos was overturned by the courts. And he was asked what he thought uh, about that. And he said, you know, at, I'm not so worried about the court decision. He said, workers now know about asbestos, and they are not going to allow themselves to be subjected to this killing dust anymore. We are working to try and fulfill his prophecy, and we're really pleased and honored to be here today to join you in your fight. Thank you. Keep in your heart for a while.